In this movie, we're going to take a look at how to open an route file that has some existing toolpaths applied to geometries and convert those files to individual DXF files for use with ATP. So uh, let's come here and open a file, and, and this time I'm, I'm going to come down here. Let's go to the uh, SCODA driver and uh, or, or a file, and we'll see here. Actually, this does not have any toolpaths applied yet. What we do have are some some different shapes with um, with particular uh, label there to tell us a little bit about the part. So uh, and this label information could be you know any information that, that you want to include. So you could actually put more here if you want to a particular order number or something. So to convert these, first thing I'm going to do is kind of group these two together, and uh, you know I'd have to decide if I want to uh, you know include both of these as part of a single part or if I would want to uh, have a single piece and then just say I want a quantity of two of them in the list file and not have two shapes and just let let the cut list do two of them. So sometimes you might want to nest them as, as a pair, the other times you might want to let the quantity in the uh, in the cut list determine how many of this particular shape is cut. But we'll decide that here in a minute. For the first one we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this part. So I'm going to hit control one to move that to the lower left hand corner. If I hit control five, it, it moves it to the center of the plate. I want to use control one to put it in the lower left corner. I'm going to come up here and take a look at the layers by hitting F7 or you can go to the setup menu. And uh, we're going to call this uh, shape one. And so uh, when for use with ATP, there's going to be a layer called shape one. And that particular layer is going to get uh, whatever the type of cutout is going to occur. Routing offset most likely. And then this is just going to be called text, and uh, it's just going to have information that's uh, about about the part, but it isn't something I'm going to cut. Now I'm going to select this this piece here, and I'll see that it, it turns purple, so it's still text. I'm going to come here and convert that to curves, so it turns blue and red. I want this to not be text when it comes to nesting, because these shapes will nest better than the text. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is come here and select this text again, go to this change layers button or you can go to setup uh, change layers actually it looks like uh, this is the only place you can go to change layers so we'll click here and we'll we'll tell it we want that to be in a text layer zoom in and out and, and now we'll just see what's in the active layer so this is the shape in the shape layer this is the text in the text layer and when you look at them both together they'll show up as, as our part we want to see now we're going to go here to the file menu and say export um, let's go here to the correct folder and uh, we have have to know which particular part this is I believe this one is the uh, is the rear and this is a single part which is in 1.8 millimeter um, material so you know I would come here and say now I have two options I have a, a few options here if I save it as a DXF, it seems like there was some problem saving the text. So I would recommend coming here and choosing the AutoCAD DXF Legacy Export. And we're going to hit Save. All right, we're going to say, yeah, we're going to go ahead and replace that one. But uh, we have these options here. And we're going to use just the selected. So we're not going to export all that other information as, as it. We're just going to select this selected geometry here. The contours only, polylines. Uh, millimeters and we're going to sort and do clockwise so now we'll hit OK and we've exported that part. Now if we wanted to open up a new file uh, and let's come here t and, and make it a larger larger size and I think it's going to be 1.8 millimeter thickness here alright and that's actually not the, the right size for this particular material but at least it's a bigger material. Alright so uh, now let's come here and uh, import the file we just created. So let's come here and we'll go to the this file here from 929. Now we're going to import this and we can see that what we have are two different layers. We have a shape layer and a text layer. That says test, it should say text. Um, and then the original layer from the from the file but here we see that we have a single part with two different layers and those are the layers that we need and uh, if we were to go to ATP and let's just say no ac active applications for now and say select file 
Here's the one from today. And we said uh, use files. We'd say here are the two layers. We have the test and the shape one, and we would say we don't want to toolpath the test. And you can refer to the other movie to to figure out how to set up the strategies. But that is the process then of of doing uh, of doing these. So let's uh, let's come back here. Here was the imported file. We don't need that one. All right, here's our original part, All right? So this one we now have done. So we can just move this out of the way. Now this one I have to decide, you know, do I want to do I want to have two of these together and just have a route nest them as a single part or do I want to have just a uh, a single one? Now, you know, for this shape here, I think you would get a better nest by including them together. And that way the the leftovers are rectangle. This is already more or less a rectangle, so I can just have a single one, or if I wanted to, I, I could put them together like we have the shape here and nest them as a bigger rectangular shape. So, you know, you have to make a decision about if you want to save both of these and they, they would be nested as a single part, then you don't need a quantity of two. And if you wanted to do just a single one, then you need a quantity of two in your, in your um, comma separated value cut list. All right, so let's just say, I mean, probably for the most part, I, I'm thinking I like nesting these together as a single single part here and keeping them together. So uh, that way they would be less likely to break up. So uh, we're going to go here now. We still have our, our test layer. Whatever the layers are, you just have to be consistent with all of the files. So, you know, I have test there, but really I would, I would want this to say text. That's what I... I would think of uh, putting there as text. So I'd probably have to go back and change the other one. Now I'm going to make sure that these two, I'm going to first convert the uh, the parts there. And you know, if I wanted to, I could uh, I could now rotate this so that it's, it's going to be easier to read, even though the part itself might be, even though the part itself might be, um, Oh. Here we go. I'm just going to center this in the middle here. Uh, even though the part might be rotated, at least we can read this uh, in conjunction with the other one, or you can leave this oriented so that you'll know where the bottom of the part is. You know, either way would be possible. Now we're going to um, select both of these, go to File, Export. Uh, these two, I think we're going to call the. Uh, left and right now because I don't have a quantity of two you know I kind of did that I'm going to get rid of this times two so we're just going to say left right and keep the rest of this the same um, so that way I know I only need a single one of these in my comma separated value list I'm going to hit save all this information should remain the same so now this would be a single part when I import it and process it for ATP and again I could make just one of these and have a quantity of two in my list or I can have them both here and have a quantity of one. So that's the process of taking an unroute file and exporting each of the geometries as a layered DXF file using the selection only as a, as a way to just determine what you're going to put in that file.